Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today let's talk about the TAC Pro Case 1.0 that I have here in front of you for my iPhone 14 Pro. This is going to set you back 45 bucks, but if you use my custom link, which is buyatac.com forward slash Roy, use this Black Friday code they provided. It's BF22. You're going to save 40% off the whole entire website. So BF22, make sure to check it out. So looking at this case, here it is. It is a very thin case. Let me scooch this to the side. It's a very thin case, as you can tell, just like what we've all come to know and love from TAC. It is made from Kevlar, which is fantastic. But as you can see though, it's not much. It's, it's really meant for the minimalist, right? Very, very thin. And then I also have their MagSafe magnet ring that we can install on it as well to give it that extra strength for your MagSafe accessories. So let's go ahead and slap this bad boy on. So install's pretty simple. So as you can see here, you just push in and that's all she wrote. So looking at it from the back here, you can see that it is this just really nice pattern, right? I really, really like this kind of carbon fiber look, but knowing that it is Kevlar, that is awesome. So when you're looking at the design, you can kind of see it here. So there is no fingerprint issues, but with this type of material, uh, smudges can sometimes be an issue. It's not really smudges, it's more oils from your hands. So something like a towel or microfiber cloth and wiping it down will do the trick, or even your t-shirt, but just something to point out because I test a lot of cases like this and that's just really my only knock ever on them but other than that this is a really really nice case i really like the actual camera bump design here so looking at it from the front i don't know if you can really tell but it hugs those lenses but it does kind of raise up pretty nice but it's a nice smooth raise it's not like a sharp just flat 90 degree edge it kind of molds into the edge there so I like that design there a lot, but that's the back. Looking at the side, as you can see here, we have that same material, but then we do have our cutout for the power button. So you're gonna be touching the physical power button. The bottom, we have a giant cutout once again. So you have complete access to your speakers and your lightning port. So on this side here, you can see there's a giant opening and that gives us complete access to the real volume up and down buttons and our alert slider. And then looking from the top down, you can see once again, that cutout there but that's how that bump looks as well. Looking at the front, you can see that there are these little lips that are raised up on the sides. It's nothing crazy, but there is enough lippage going on that when you do place it face down on a surface, it is gonna raise it up just enough to help protect it. But once again, minimalist at heart with this case. And then looking at it from the front, you can see that it basically looks like I don't have a case on the phone. So that is something I really like. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test here. So I have it face down and face down, there is no shaking going on at all. Back down might be a little bit different story. As you can see, it's kind of a shaky mess, but that's kind of to be expected with these 14 Pro cases because of the giant camera bump. So I'm not really gonna do a clicky button test because we're using the real buttons, but I will say though that the way that this is designed, it does kind of stick out just a very tiny hair and it does kind of let you feel where that button is a little bit better, even on this side too. So like kind of where I'm holding it. So having access to the real buttons, uh, it actually is pretty easy to get to them. And the same thing with the alert slider. I mean, obviously with it being the way it is, it's super, super easy to get to. So no issues at all there. So grabbing the MagSafe charger, before I put the rings on, you can see that it is MagSafe charging compatible. The magnets do stay on pretty well. I mean, obviously I can pull it off pretty easily, but it finds it. It's just not gonna be able to be used on a MagSafe stand of some sort or like an accessory in your vehicle, but that's where the MagSafe ring comes into play because with this, it allows you the ability to slap it on and be able to get that MagSafe capability. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. And there we go. So with this installed, now it does give us the ability to have that MagSafe connection. So it has this like really sticky residue on the back that allows you to stick it on. It's real easy to install because since it's a magnet, it kind of just falls right into place. And then when you slap on your MagSafe charger, then 
Now you have a very strong connection that you can swing around. It's not going to just allow you to just to swing it completely because I can push it off if I wanted to, but the whole point is that you're not going to be driving your vehicle and it just bouncing around even on the bumpiest roads. These magnets that I've been putting on my tack cases work very well. So that way then you can you know have it mounted on your desk or you can have it mounted in your vehicle and it just adds that extra little protection. Uh, these are normally around nine bucks, but with that promo code I gave you for Black Friday, you're gonna be able to save 40% off of that as well. So there we have it guys, there's the Pro Case 1.0 from TAC. I really, really like this case. It's super, super thin. It's like 0.6 millimeters thin. It's made from real Kevlar, which is awesome. It has a beautiful look to it. I really, really like the look. And adding that Onyx Black MagSafe ring just really sets it off in my opinion as well. I just like the blacked out look. So you let me know down in the comments, what do you think? Do you like it? Is it something you're gonna go scoop up? Or what other tack cases do you have your eye on? So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.